Hey, it's Joel, the 3D printing nerd, and one of the cool things about the Ultimaker 2 Plus is the Olsen block, and that gives you the ability to change out the nozzles. And why is that cool? Well, changing out the nozzles means you can get a nozzle with a different sized orifice, which means you can push less or more plastic through the extruder at any given time. And why is that important? I'm gonna tell you in just a moment. So let's do this. Are you ready? Go. Ah, welcome back. One of the benefits to this Ultimaker 2 Plus is that Olsen block. It was originally a community-driven effort that then Ultimaker adopted and added to the 2 Plus model. The Olsen block is cool because it allows you to easily change nozzles on the Ultimaker. Why is that important? Well, a different nozzle means you can add a hardened or, or plated nozzle in case you want to print with exotic materials that may widen the orifice faster of your nozzle than other materials. You may want to push more plastic faster. In fact, if you look at this ghosty right here, this ghost, come here you, and this ghost took roughly the same amount of time to print. This one of course is smaller, and this one is nearly the full height of what the Ultimaker 2 is able to accomplish. How did I do that? I added a 0.8 millimeter nozzle to this machine. The standard nozzle is a 0.4 millimeter nozzle, so it's essentially I was pushing way, way more plastic through, and to, with more plastic comes faster print times. It's, it's really cool. Granted, you do get to see some of the layer lines because, again, your layers are, are thicker at this point. And conversely, a smaller nozzle, such as a 0.25 millimeter nozzle, will give you much finer details, but again, will increase your print time. This ghosty is cool. I love this thing. This was, this is uh, the Hug Me Ghost by Gordon over at G-Create. I printed a bunch of these during Halloween. Uh, I filmed it in a time lapse. So let's take a look at that. You ready? Time lapse. Okay, you have an Ultimaker 2 Plus. You should have gotten some extra nozzles with it. Of course, I use some of these nozzles from Micro Swiss from 0.25 all the way to 0.8 millimeters. And they're also plated, which means pushing exotics through isn't going to cause as much harm to the nozzle and it's not gonna wear it down nearly as fast. Also, if you have any printer with an E3D nozzle on it, you can get different size hardened nozzles for that as well. It's kind of cool. You may be asking at this point, is it hard to change the nozzles on a system? Well, typically not too bad. It does require, you know, tinkering, of course, but at least with the Ultimaker 2 Plus, they've made it really simple and here's how you do it. First, you heat the filament. Once the filament is heated, you back it off just a little bit so that you've got some room to work. I use a socket driver to loosen the hot nozzle. Be careful, it's hot. Once it's out, I put the new nozzle in and then I use the socket driver to tighten it up, not too tight. Once that's up, since the filament is still hot, you can roll it through, make sure it extrudes, and that's it. You're done. You've just switched out a nozzle on your Ultimaker 2 Plus. I know this was a quick video, but I really hope I was able to talk about one of the benefits to owning an Ultimaker 2 Plus. If you have an Ultimaker 2, there are upgrade kits available, which give you a better extruder motor driver thingy back here, and also the Olsen block. Cool. All right, we're gonna call it good. Like it, comment, a big thanks to my patrons, and as always, don't forget to hug each other more often, because I love you guys, as always. High five.